Um, Don't ever sit in a car in Perth. It's freaking hot. And Pete's gone. <laughs> I just dropped him off at the airport. It was actually really hard to say goodbye. Um, obviously I spent the last two and a half weeks with him because we both had holidays. And now I feel lonely. <laughs> uh, just cried <laughs> on the way home from the airport. I haven't done that in a while. This is not a bun. It's actually a knot, like just one big matted mess. That's why my hair's all like poo from the festival. And I just don't want to deal with it yet. Like I know it's really bad for me. All the hairdressers watching this are probably losing their mind, but um, I can't deal. My hair's so long, so thick that it's gonna take me a good couple of hours, no joke, to get it out, so. Just put it up, get it out the way, you know. I'm just gonna sit in my house and sulk until I go back to work because I miss Pete. Yeah. Morning, guys. <laughs> I have no lackeys in my hair. Like, and I've got cat fluff all through my hair. That's what that is. I'm going to attempt this. I'm super nervous. Might as well just cut my whole friggin' hair off. I don't know why I do this to myself. But we'll see how we go. Then I've got to clean up the house a bit. And I'm going to go see Casey and Little Man today. So finally give her her birthday present and Christmas present. Because um, she couldn't make it on the girls' night. So super excited. I survived. I think it took me uh, about an hour and a bit. <laughs> no joke. But look at my floor and my couch. Oh, great. <sighs> I'm just going to grab the vacuum. <laughs> Ow! Morning, guys. I am meant to be going to a float this morning. Those big flotation tank things. I have been in one before. It's in my vlog from like over a year ago. I'll put it in the description if you want to see that one. This is at a different place though. For some reason, I'm like freaking out a little bit. I kind of work myself up. And I had a nightmare last night that I was like stuck in one and I was drowning. So <laughs> I'm like nervous to go. I wasn't until today, but I just like get things in my head and then I freak out and I fixate on them. So this will be fun. Um, yeah, I'm leaving in about 10 minutes, so it should be nice. Like I haven't had any caffeine this morning. I'm like tired still but hopefully i'll just be like super chilled and super relaxed um i'm just a little bit nervous because i haven't been to this one before so i don't know if all flotation tanks are the same or how they do things anyway um yeah i will take you with me um hopefully i can take my phone in there like not in the tank but in the room so i'll show you guys what it's all about
Holy shit. This is amazing. Um, I feel super emotional though. Um, yeah, my endorphins were wild in there. I had um, some pretty intense meditation visions. Um, and it made me cry, like happy cry. I just like, I was in like a deep, like relaxation, meditatives, meditation state. And then like I was crying and I woke myself up. It was really intense, but oh, it's so beautiful in there. Good way to finish my holiday. Oh, oh I'm supposed to clean my house today, but I don't know how I'm supposed to have Oh, any energy after that, like in a good way. I am so relaxed. I take a nap, buddy. Um. Do I smell like salt? What does it smell like? just with a couple of friends from work. I forgot to vlog while I was at home. Um, so this lighting is gonna have to do. Uh, we're just going into the city to do a couple of things, I don't know. It's someone's birthday, I don't know them though. Um, but I'm designated driver, so I'll be sober Sally tonight. Here's a drinker. That's just... dropping everyone home it's three o'clock in the morning i was like i'm gonna go out have a chilled night early one come home next minute home at three o'clock in the morning i just can't like i was dancing the hardest when i'm sober and i see a dance floor there's just a connection <laughs> like it was awesome i'll insert a clip here for you <laughs> fucking amazing shit Anyway, I'm like getting to the croaky voice kind of tired stage, so I'm gonna go to bed, but tomorrow is Sunday. It's my last day of my holidays. I'm just not ready to go back to work. I'm so accustomed to just like doing whatever I want every day and chilling in my house with my cats. I don't know how I'm gonna feel not being at home for eight hours a day, so. Is there such thing as like after holiday depression? Because <laughs> I got it. I'm not even back to work yet. I don't know what I should do tomorrow. My last day, how do I want to spend it? I'm definitely going to sleep in. And then I literally, I'm honestly just going to like cuddle my cats all day. And play Sims and watch Netflix. Done. Good idea. Mm, mm, mm. Hey guys. Actually, it's not morning. I'm super pissed off like the last day of my holiday. I woke up at whoa. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't know how to change the aircon. Um, super pissed off. I woke up at 4.30 in the afternoon on my last day of my holiday. What a waste of a day. Oh, I'm so angry. I'm just finishing some editing 
um, a couple of videos will be up. So, yeah, I mean, I was just going to laze around the house today anyway and chill, but it's just angry, like, I'm angry knowing I've lost time. <laughs> Ugh, all right.